Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Last week I shared with you how to make a sea moss infused liquid shampoo and this week I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a matching liquid sea moss infused conditioner. Sea moss is wonderful for your insides and your outsides. It's great for your skin care and your hair care because it's loaded with vitamins and nutrients and minerals. It's also a great source of vegan collagen. So today we're gonna to be infusing it into some conditioner. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have a whole sea moss collection that you can take advantage of over on my Patreon campaign. And the conditioner will be the uh, newest addition to the sea moss collection. In addition to my sea moss collection, there are lots of other collections and hundreds of recipes and tutorials for you to check out over on my Patreon campaign. I'll go ahead and place the link to my campaign in the description box below for you. We're coming up on our five year anniversary, so there's a ton to take advantage of. I really hope if you haven't checked it out, you will go and do that today. All right, you guys are really gonna appreciate this formula because it's super easy to put together. Literally, the entire heated phase can go into one beaker and it's just broken up into a heated and cool down phase. So we're gonna start off by weighing off this ingredient that's called Jiquat. Now, in the past, I've told you to go and get the ice conditioner base from Making Cosmetics, and I have since run out of that product, and I was looking for a little bit of a less expensive replacement for that conditioner base. So if you still have some ice to use up, you could replace this ingredient with the ice conditioner base if it's what you have. So this is Jiquat. It is a little bit different than the ice. Uh, the ingredients are a little bit different. The inky here is acetyl alcohol, BTMS chloride, cocomidopropyl betaine, and sodium laurate. The ice conditioner base has some of the same ingredients, but a few different ingredients in it as well, like satiro alcohol. So the difference between the two is kind of negligible. However, this one is gonna give you a little bit of a thicker consistency, I've noticed. Um, the ice base get, gets to a nice conditioner consistency, uh, but this one you're able to thicken up a little bit, and on top of being thick, it also feels a little bit kind of um, light and fluffy in a way, so it's got a really nice texture. So we're gonna go ahead and first weigh off our g -quat. This will of course, you could make a conditioner from scratch. I've shown you guys how to do that too by adding in similar ingredients, formulating your very own conditioner. is definitely something you can do um, with similar ingredients or the same ingredients. It's just that these bases make it super convenient and you can customize it um, very easily. So, I'm really liking this one. If you run out of ice and you're looking for a, a less expensive alternative, this one seems to be working very well. This one's from Lotion Crafter. So there's my g -quat. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some distilled water. So it's perfect because it already has everything in it that you need to make conditioner, including your emulsifiers, your thickeners, and your cleansing agents, or your surfactants. All right, now, also as part of my water phase, this is where we're gonna be adding in our sea moss. Now, you guys have seen me process sea moss before in my other videos, including last week's video. And so I'm not gonna show you how to process it at this point, but you can go back and take a look at last week's video and see how I process my sea moss. It's basically you just boil some water and you simmer your sea moss after it's cleaned until everything gets infused, till your water gets infused. Then I took my sea moss water, including the seaweed and the water, and I blended everything up to make a nice, smooth consistency. So this has been in my fridge now for a little while, and as you can see, it totally firmed up. So sea moss totally firms up when it gets to room temperature. It's just much like jello. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into our heated phase. This is also considered part of our water phase. 
this will melt back down into this and combine perfectly. So we're just adding this in. Again, go ahead and take a look at how I've processed the sea moss in some of my other videos. And then um, all you do with the boiled and rendered sea moss is put it through a blender until it's nice and smooth. Now, you can also play around with how much sea moss you put into your formula, but you have to be aware of the fact that the sea moss could actually break your emulsion and then your formula would separate out. And that is due to its high electrolyte content. So you just have to be careful with the emulsions um, that you don't go too high with the sea moss because it can separate your, your conditioner or your cream. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our argan oil. Argan oil is so great for the hair, very nourishing. It gives you a nice, silky, smooth finish to your hair. It's a lovely emollient. It actually even feels silky on the skin. And that is it for our heated phase. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the cool down phase because we want it to be ready when we're ready to add it in. So into our cool down phase, we're gonna be adding in a combination of some essential oils and preservative. So I'm gonna make this to match the shampoo that we made last week. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some lavender. Next, we're gonna be adding in some rosemary. I love the combination of lavender and rosemary and peppermint and lavender and rosemary. Rosemary and peppermint in particular are great for hair and scalp care. They're very stimulating and they've been known to help with hair growth. And lavender is very nourishing and soothing. And then last, we're gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of peppermint essential oil. Not too much because it can be very potent. So then we're gonna go ahead and add in a, an extract. We're gonna be using something called Natra Cola V. This is from Voyager Soap and Candle. And nat Natra Cola V is made up of hydrolyzed soy protein, rice amino acids, hydrolyzed adansonia, and digitata seed extract, and L-proline. So this is great for hair strengthening. It's a protein extract. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in as well. And we're putting this in the cool down phase because we don't want the warmer temperatures to kill off the beautiful properties of the extract. There we go. And then last to the cool down phase, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of preservative. Today we're using Optifin 176. All right, so here we have our heated phase and our cool down phase. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this in a double boiler system and get everything melted down. So with this Gquat conditioner base, you wanna go ahead and melt everything down until it's 165 degrees Fahrenheit before removing it from the heat. All right, everything is now melted down and it looks pretty emulsified. I was using a spoon to stir it up a little bit, but now we're gonna go ahead and blend it on low. And as you can see right away, a nice cream is, is coming together here and forming. So as you can see, it becomes thick right away. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and allow this to come down to a temperature where we can add the rest of our cool down ingredients and then we'll blend it up. All right, we're sitting at right around 110 degrees now. And as you can see, we've got a really beautifully thick conditioner just to show you the texture of it right now. And it just has beautiful slip when it comes off of your hair. It's very, very 
gorgeous. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our cool down ingredients and I'm gonna stir them in by hand first and then go ahead and use the stick blender to get everything completely combined. So it will loosen up a little bit as you add the additional liquids and it is still rather warm. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and stick blend this together. All right, and I'll bring you back when this has cooled down to close to room temperature and we will package it up. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and package this up. Now, this isn't room temperature at the moment. It's about 83 degrees Fahrenheit, but definitely thick enough to put into my package. It's 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So my house is probably right around 74 degrees. So a little above room temperature for me, but still very, thick and ready to go ahead and put into this package. So I'm just using this wide mouth eight ounce PET because I don't really want to pipe it into a squeeze bottle or a Boston round at this point. I mean, you totally could do that. So I, this is a 200 gram batch. Smells really good. So in my testing of this formula, it has beautiful rinse off. It just leaves your hair feeling lightweight, yet hydrated, moisturized, and silky soft. It's very good at detangling as well. So what's interesting too regarding the Gquat base or the ice base, if that's what you're using to create a conditioner, is you can make it as thin as you like or going up to the maximum usage rate using and making a thicker conditioner like this. So there's definitely ways to customize using these types of products. All right, everyone, that's how you make a beautiful CMOS infused hair conditioner. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments and questions below. Share this video with a friend and why not subscribe to my channel? All right, everybody. Catch you on the next video. Bye. Keep shining.